You see, when I was a boy, my mom, she would give me what we called a talking to regarding my tendency to worry. I had a problem with worry. She would say, Stephen, you're making something out of nothing. Other times she'd say to me, now you're making a mountain out of a molehill. I can hear her saying that right now. Of course, I took it as correction and understood that she was telling me to stop amplifying the problem. She was a good mom. She was giving me some wise advice. She was telling me, quit making a problem where there really isn't a problem. Yes, I really did have a problem with casting my care. In fact, it was so bad that I'd worry about being worried. I'd have panic attacks over being so anxious, troubled, fretting, careful, worried. But over the years of meditating on God's word, I began to consider Romans chapter 12, verse two, and it says this, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, proving what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Something strange began happening in me when I began just really dialing in on that verse. I began to see the rebuke, you're making something out of nothing that my mom would give me as a benefit instead of a liability. You're making something out of nothing. Think about that. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. You know what? That could be a potential superpower. I love mountains. Imagine making another Teton mountain range out of practically a shovel of dirt. That really is a superpower. Making something out of nothing. You see, it's true. Worry, fear, anxiety all have the power to make something bad out of nothing. But faith, faith in God, trusting God, that also has the power to make something very, very good, beautiful out of nothing. That's how God created in the beginning. He released faith by his word, making something out of nothing. Now, when I say nothing, I mean nothing materialistic. God's word is always latent with superpower. God is his word. You know, John 1 says the word was God, not just with God, but the word was God. Jeremiah 1 verse 12 says God watches over his word to perform it. God's looking for his word here on earth. So yes, in a way, something out of nothing, but scientifically we know that all matter is made up of energy. The atom, check this out, is the basic building block of all matter. And you know what happens when we split the tiny atom. We get this ridiculous release of power because of a chain reaction. The experts tell us that the mass of a paper clip, think about this, imagine it now, the mass of a paper clip has roughly the energy of 18 kilotons of TNT. That's about the size of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945. That's a big, terrible something out of practically nothing. And now that same technology of splitting atoms is used in nuclear reactors around the world, bringing power in the form of electricity to light up cities, heat homes, and to charge even your EV. Something out of nothing.